So if you could start with your experience uh, in Java and related tools and technologies, uh, I will take it from there. Okay, okay. So, uh, hi, this side. I am currently working in yeah. from past uh, three years. Uh, I have just completed uh, three years, one month. Uh, so, uh, my daily roles and responsibilities in my current uh, team. Uh, sorry, how many years? How many years experience is it? Three years. Three years, one month. Oh, okay. Fine, fine. Okay, great. Okay. So currently my roles and responsibilities in my current team is to, uh, you know, gathering the requirements from the client and to the uh, development of that application. And uh, I am sometimes also involved in the deployment of that application. So talking about my skills, uh, I am currently working in Spring Boot application, Spring Boot uh, with Hibernate and MySQL as a backend. And I'm currently also supporting like which application which are already deployed, they are uh, current made in Struts, Struts framework. So I'm also currently supporting that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, so which version of Java you use? Java 8. Okay, fine. Okay. So, <clears throat> for example, um, uh, like uh, in Java, uh, like if I want to do a file, file reading the file and uh, reading the content. So uh, what kind of an approach you will take? Which functions you will use? In Java 8 only? Yeah, yeah Java 8. Okay. Or Java, I can tell in Java. Yeah. Okay, so uh, basic reading file, I can use file input reader uh, met, uh, class. Okay. And, uh, I will create an uh, you know object of the class file input reader and a new file input reader and provide the <coughs> path of that file and uh, simply I will uh, write, write, write a loop and inside loop I will uh, get the contents of that file or I can write the logic business logic in there. Okay, fine. And uh, which IDE do you use? Uh, Development for Spring Boot I use STS uh, for. Eclipse mainly. Eclipse, okay. And uh, uh, build tool? Build tool, uh, I am having basic idea for like how Jenkins works, but uh, uh, for okay. production it is not, uh, you know, uh, I am not involved in that. Uh -huh. I basically Fine. And uh, J units are uh, any testing framework? Uh, like I used to do manual testing, like if this API is working or not, but uh, you know, different team is uh, allotted for testing, writing test cases. Okay, okay. Fine. And um, um, like um, Spring or Spring Boot you have used? Yeah, I have used uh, mainly Spring Boot. Spring Boot, okay, okay. okay. So when do you take in the first round of interview? One uh, week before or something like that? Yeah, this is my first round. Okay, okay you are taking first round, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, because sometimes some more second room, so only I was asking that question. Okay. Yeah, so for example, um, like uh, um, uh, in Java, like uh, if I have a choice to choose spring, a string builder or a string buffer, so when do you use this? Okay, uh, yeah. string buffer and string builder. Okay, uh, string, okay, if I am having multi threaded application. Uh, and I want a uh, uh, synchronized methods. So I'll use in this case I'll use string buffer because it is thread safe and uh, string builder is not thread safe. So basic mm. is this. Okay. And uh, uh, like um, in the collections, so we have a hash right in some of the things hash hash hash. What is that means? Uh, hashing is basically a, a you know method like how I am storing the data. Uh, hashing is a uh, criteria like if I am uh, storing any data so I'll I'll create its hash code and then I'll be storing that data in our memory so hashing is a technique basically we can say. <coughs> and uh, you know in Java we can uh, create a hash code using uh, you know object class method uh, parent class object class method hash code uh, we can override that also or we can use their implementation also Okay, uh-huh, fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for example, if I want to do a custom exception handling, so uh, how to do that? Okay, so you want to, okay, so uh, uh, if you want to have a custom exception, 
so what we did uh, in our project is like uh, real scenario uh, we created a uh, our own uh, you know our own uh, package and in that package we have our own uh, class and which extends the uh, parent class exception class so, and in that uh, we will s simply you know throw that exception uh, suppose for example we are uh, we are getting uh, employee not found suppose we are not getting employee from our backend so we will write uh, if employee object is null uh, so we will throw new not uh, employee not found and in the braces we will simply write employee not found and that will be uh, you know pass it to, to our uh, you know custom class custom class and custom class will again throw that exception to our exception class like right? throw exception of in double quotes uh, employee not found so in that case we have to extend the exception class and uh, simply we can provide the parameter to that class constructor okay mm -hmm. okay so in uh, uh, like uh, you worked on streams java streams uh, yeah means uh, i'm currently okay. uh, you know uh, basically develop some application so i have worked on streams yeah basic okay so what is the, uh, what is the advantage uh, of using stream over the traditional java 1.7 or uh, later code i mean uh, the below version codes okay okay so uh, stream api came into picture in 1.8 okay so in this uh, we the stream api basically is used for their uh, for collection objects uh, suppose uh, i want to have a uh, I want to. I have a list of numbers, and I want to have uh, you know multiply each number by two, and then divide each number by three, and then so on. Multiple process is there. So prior to Java 1.8, what we have to do is we have to calculate that thing and store that in our some dummy uh, data structure. Then we have to uh, do another operation and store. So when Stream API came, we can do each and everything in a single line without storing the intermediate result into a certain. Uh, Objects, a list of objects. So, cons uh, code is concise and uh, you know more uh, readable code is there. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. And uh, say uh, when, like, uh, when we want to uh, work with a, a database, yeah. So, mm -hmm. what uh, what kind of uh, connectivity are the uh, things you have worked with, like say, there's a JDBC template, JPA, ORM, which one you are comfortable uh, with? Mostly I have used JPA only. JPA JP, only, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, can you explain something about that, like say, what do you know in JPA? Okay, so, uh, JPA is Java Persistence API. Uh, yeah. It is basically uh, used for connecting, uh, you know, transferring the data from our backend to our database. Okay, so JPA internally consists, uh, internally uses Hibernate only. So, uh, mm -hmm. and it's, it also internally use CRUD, uh, CRUD repository. So, JPA also have pagination in it. And uh, uh, JPA provides some uh, predefined methods like find by ID or find by name. And uh, we can also uh, concatenate different, uh, different methods like find by name and ID and uh, last name. So, uh, we should we do not have to code developer should uh, could not have to write the whole query like select a string uh, instead we can simply use their own predefined methods uh, get by employee ID get by name so basic use is uh, JP is this just a minute just a minute yeah one minute I'll come I'll be right back sure, sure, no, sure. yeah hi yeah, yeah. There is a Wi-Fi to network change, so that's the reason uh, no, because no. Wi-Fi power went off. <laughs> yeah, so uh, fine. Um, like uh, when you want to join a two table, say for example, uh, there are inner join uh, and left and outer join. So you know the difference on this? Uh, left join and outer join. Okay. So yeah. uh, in left join. Uh, mm -hmm. In left join, uh, the contents of the table of, uh, you know, if I'm considering a table employee and a right table is a department. So in that case, uh, you know, employee the content, the contents of employee, employee will be there in a resultant table. But in outer join, both like uh, employee and uh, department, both contents will be there in the resultant table. Okay, 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 great. Mm -hmm. Fine. And you have been working with uh, hmm, uh, 
the same company or like uh, you have some other uh, man change over no, no. tcs only starting from yeah oh. i am working tcs okay mm, just a curiosity like why why you are looking for out for a change any specific reason uh not so much specific but yeah you know uh, uh like i want to you know uh, uh-huh. yeah composition is you know you know uh, if i have i have skills so composition will all automatically came but i, just, if okay. I want to you know develop my more skills i want to work more on microservices uh-huh. but in current project it is mostly uh, web services we are moving to microservices but uh, you know i want to work on nice. microservices that's all okay. more on cloud technologies something like that fine 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 mm-hmm. nice so thanks sir so you i i will put you for next round yeah so uh, all the best for you yeah yeah thanks thanks okay thank you cheers have a good day thank bye you. same to thanks for your time